Hey everyone, this is Baylor, and this is going to be a quick tip on running SQL queries on a database. So, I'm doing this video because I'm writing this article, and I noticed that I gave the SQL query for creating a database that's relevant to this video, or a table, rather, it's not a database. Well, yeah, it is, but it isn't, I guess. But the thing is that I remember whenever I got started and I didn't know what to do with this bit of code because I, I mean I didn't know SQL that was part of it the other part was that I didn't have experience with PHPMyAdmin. admin so what you do when you get stuck with an SQL query like this and you don't really know what to do with it uh, you don't have to go through and manually create this by saying I want to create a database called website or a table called websites and I know that this is going to have an ID field that's going to be an integer. It's going to be auto increment and the primary key. You can actually copy this whole query and do it from that. So the way this works is you go to localhost uh, forward slash ptree my admin. And I'm going to create a database called video just for an example. And what I was talking about is, if you remember, you can say I can create a new table and I could call that websites with four fields and manually set one to integer. These are all of our care and auto increment, the primary key. An easier way to do that is just to take this query and go up to the SQL tab and just paste it in there. So that's everything really for the video. Now, to further explain some of this though, is that you'll notice that I just took this straight from what phpMyAdmin generated and the problem is that it's actually left this CMS tutorial database name in here so we need to change that to video so you could probably even omit it completely but I'm just going to change it to video so that I know this query is going to create the table on this database so once you've done that we can click go and that's going to create this we go back to our database we can see we have this table we can view the structure of this table and everything's working exactly the way I wanted it to for this particular article so thanks for watching this video if you have any questions you can ask it in the comment section below the video and goodbye